my initial plan is in the coming month at least get it out once. Yes, I. Uh, get it, you know, assuming some of the stuff works. You know, the, the furnace you told us doesn't work. The oh, what are some of the other features that we have? See if the fridge works. That's the rain water. Welcome back. It's been hours. Oh my God. We went to the first DMV and it was two hours plus just to get seen. So we drove to our second DMV, now our DMV of choice here in Sherwood, Oregon. It's only about two hours from the house. Super convenient, state of Oregon. Awesome. But we got everything done, right? We got everything done. Yes. So we're now headed a couple blocks west, east. I'll learn these directions one of these days to an off-road and overlanding place to check out some awnings. I'll check back when uh, when we get there, but it's Iron Man off-road. We'll go see my friend Chris over there and see if he can't hook us up. Well, at least show us around. Or we'll just look in the showroom see if they have what we need. Anyway, more updates later. Welcome again, another week, and we, we being Dana and I, went out to make some videos yesterday, we, but the weather was terrible, and today it looks wonderful, gosh, it's 32 degrees out, so what are we up to? Well, I've decided I'm going to bring the trailer home today, so we are en route to get the Casita, it's about an hour away, it's about 8.20 in the morning. I think the clock's correct. So we're gonna go get the trailer. It's a beautiful day. It's cold. Obviously, if you can see out the corners, or I don't know if these cameras will show it, but there's plenty of snow out here. So, but the driveway's clear. And I think what we're gonna do is I think the casita is gonna fit in the shed where the Bronco usually sits, and we will stage it up there and start troubleshooting some stuff so anyway just a short video and we'll get back to you in a little bit ground hood over there almost there just shooting a little bit of footage where the trailer stored and nothing i forgot the keys and unfortunately i blocked up the trailer hitch a couple different ways so that's two hours down the tubes i'll get back with you in a minute well, a minute for you, hopefully. And we will, well, I'm almost back home where I'll get the keys, then we'll head back. So that'll be two hours of my day, a complete waste and probably 20 bucks in gas. Big two, I have keys with cute little trailers on them. So let's get back after it. Right turn signal works. That's all I'm gonna need pretty much, so let's get on our way.
guessing if this little adapter thing, adapter, gauge, right there, that little needle moves up into the green. This one we have point mage. Let me try to mess with this a little bit more. I think we have kind of a low charge in the battery. We'll just turn that off in case we're going to leak the underneath. We got this light here. Never. But I took that off because I was flipping some switches. And you'll see this bottom switch, which I'm not entirely sure what that does. But that flips out like that. And this is supposed to, I think, change the temperature. But as you can see, the, at the very least, the fan works, although it's squeaky. And it's blowing cold air right now. And I don't hear the, oh, there we go. It was just, oh, you can see the flames. <laughs> well, so much for that not working. Let's see if I can get the flame in there. So there's a flame in the air exchanger, and it's blowing air on me. And it's blowing warm air. Yesterday was a fit. Well, it wasn't a fail. We were in the casita, or in the... <laughs> we were looking to, to register the, the trailer yesterday. So we did get the title transferred. And then today, yesterday was pouring down rain. We didn't get much done. We did stop by a, a four wheel drive shop, eh, kind of an overland store to look at awnings. That was successful. We probably will be purchasing a, what do you call it? A, uh, no, an, an awning made by Iron, Iron Man. Anyway, it's pretty rudimentary. So the trailer was parked and retrieved it today. However, <laughs> that was a whole shenanigan. So since then, I've been checking out the systems and the fridge is working, the furnace is working, and we're going to check out right now and see if it appears to me with my newly purchased thermometer that it's currently negative 10 in the freezer. See that? Oh, well, you can't probably see it in that camera or that camera. However, just got that. I bought the power adapter, which I think is gonna need a little more work. Plug that in. So I would say all in all, and the furnace was working earlier. Got that going. I could probably even flip that on right now. Anyway, this was all probably for not. Oh, and we got a new leveling kit, even more important. So, I'll bring you back next week again. I, like I said earlier in the car, I appreciate watching the marginal content. And stick around, there will be more updates to come. The big victory today was that, in fact, our propane refrigerator works. So that is a load off my mind. The rest of the stuff, a little bit here, a little bit there, we'll get it fixed. All right, I hope you have a great week. Bye. Turn it off. So we're, we're leaving town. Man, I lost my speaking voice here. This is unfortunate. I have patient zero at my house and I suspect she's given me whatever she's got. Right in there, you can see that that's a little blue flame. God awful. It smells a little burning. I wonder if I'm gonna video myself blowing up. Yeah. She's throwing like legit uh, warm air.